The dictionary defines trust as a, quote, reliance on the integrity of a person or thing. Well, according to a new poll, trust appears to be in very short supply these days, especially when it comes to the American people and their government. It seems that many of us believe we're being misled or lied to a lot. Carol Costello is live in Washington this morning, just saying. And uh, Carol, are we a nation of cynics? I believe we are. I actually put the question on my Facebook page. I asked my friends, do you trust the government? Nobody said yes. Some said stuff I can't say on TV. There are many who believe this cynicism is bad for the country because it's difficult for the president or Congress to get anything done. But just saying, is it really a bad thing? Could distrust in government actually be a good thing? Despite President Obama's campaign promises... Where there's cynicism, hope is always stronger. But hope has not put more trust in government. We feel as we've always felt, but worse. According to a Wall Street Journal NBC poll, if you ask Americans if they trust government to do the right thing all or most of the time, just 23% say yes. That's the lowest number since 1997. It is so abysmal, some say, it's hurt President Obama and Congress. What you find now is because people don't trust government, it provides a political opening for both parties to say, don't trust the other guy. And CNN analyst Gloria Borger says that distrust has made the health care reform debate agonizingly slow. What's worse, some Americans are so loath to put their trust in government they don't even believe health officials are telling them the truth about the swine flu. I also question the severity of the problem. It seems to be a little bit blown out of proportion. According to the CDC, 20,000 Americans have been hospitalized. 1,000 have died. On the other hand, swine flu skeptics aside, too much trust in government has gotten the country into trouble. USA! USA! After 9-11, trust in government was high. According to a CNN USA Today Gallup poll in October of 2001, 60% trusted the government to do the right thing always or most of the time. And some say that helped President Bush make the case for what some call the disastrous Iraq war, which most Americans now oppose. Just saying. Can distrust in government be good? I think people ought to try to, to, to see the bright side in distrust in government. Gene Healy works for the conservative Cato Institute. When you have lower trust in government, you tend to get fewer foreign wars, you tend to get fewer expensive government programs, and you also tend to get fewer abuses of civil liberties. Healy says trust in government was high in the 60s during the Kennedy-Johnson years when the U.S. got into another unpopular war, Vietnam. And Healy says today our overly healthy distrust in government may slow something else. That would be government spending. What do you think? Is distrust in government actually a good thing? Does it help more than hurt? Write to me on my blog.